All right, yeah. I, I'm not going to be fancy this time. I, I'm, I'm just grabbing peaches and, like, you know, clearing my thrusters and blasting. Okay, then here's here's what I'm going to do. Um, again, since everybody is suffering the same penalty for darkness, I'm going to eliminate that to make the rolls easier. Um, so, Mo, um, you're not trying to intimidate. You're just trying to grab peaches. But you have to grab her while she's still moving, so that's going to give you a penalty of two. All right. So what am uh, so what am I doing? Making a, a flight. Unarmed? Make a flight check. A flight check. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, penalty of minus two. Was it pretty or was it ugly? Oh. I disconnected again. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> no, yeah, he did. You have got to be kidding me. Oh, my wow. God. Does anybody have a second He's chance card? He's up. <laughs> again and Adam together. That's not a one. No, I'm okay, okay, all right. Oh, what the? <laughs> <laughs> How'd I do this again? Oh, shit. <laughs> uh-huh. I, I have not used this th this flight suit since I've gotten into Core Earth, and apparently Core Earth really screws it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I should have put beer inside of it. Does it, did it, get, did it get ocean water in, in our, our splashing around with the... Uh... Yeah, you know, it might have. I mean, that, that might explain some of uh... <laughs> Salt water in the fuel mix. Wow, you guys are having a really <sighs> hard time tonight. But, um, but, but Paul, if... if... If he's up, can he just roll the second dice and add those together? And no, have them? it doesn't work that way. Sorry, I would love it. And see, he had the up for the last round also, but couldn't use it because of the disconnection. Uh -huh. That takes away everything. So, no cards, no possibilities, no motor cars, no proof of luxury. Like Robinson Crusoe, he's as stuck as can frickin' be. So. Uh, so, Ginger? Yeah, Ginger, what do you want to do? Uh, it, right. it, 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 if I might suggest, you, you should probably take that up and, like, defend both of you for a round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, how does... Is it just active defense, or is it... Uh... Well, do you want to make an active defense against their attacks? Because if you make an active defense, um, shooting is going to be kind of difficult. Exchange this turn's action for a roll bonus, minimum plus one, to apply to all defenses until the character's next turn. But that means you're defending. Attacking hasn't been going well anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, considering yeah. it's really hard to hit them. Uh, can, can I... Can I uh, defend and do uh, a, a multi-action? Uh, defend and active defend and intimidate. Um, uh, in other words, I'm, I'm defending Mo with, you know, by brandishing my shotgun and saying, suck lead, you hairy furballs. I'm going to say as long as you're defending, an intimidate is not going to work. Oh, okay. Because you're defending. If right. you're trying to to scrabble away from them so that you can defend, or if you're trying to hold your your Remington up so that you can defend, um, I think your in, words of intimidation are probably not going to have much of an effect. It's just bravado. It would just be bravado. Now, as with everything in the world that goes on, I would give you a penalty of minus four to attempt to intimidate because you, minus two for trying to attempt uh, to intimidate both and then a minus two because you're defending while trying to intimidate that's actually that actually should probably have a higher <sighs> right, boy I, I, I think that you know posture wise it, you're right it makes sense it, it, it'll just come off as blood bluster but yeah. I, I'm doing active defense and I'm swearing like a, a, a Spanish ghetto fighter. 
while I do it. Are, are you trying to embarrass the werewolves? Or? <laughs> <laughs> Only if they know Spanish, but how does a German Indonesian werewolf know Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> because they're German Indonesian werewolves. They've been all over the world. Anyway, um <laughs> Okay, so go ahead and make your active defense roll by clicking on defense on your on your uh, character sheet. The defense title I'm toward the right. top. Hmm? What's that? I I'm not right. Yeah. Yeah, there there are no penalties here. You're just making an active defense. Where's defense? Okay, it's at the top of your character sheet, or towards the top of your character sheet. Okay, let me let me open Penny here. And uh, it says defenses. You've got skills, attributes, defenses, status. Oh, so... Uh, so uh, click defenses. Defense. Yep. There you go. Okay. And holy crap. So you've got a defense of plus one, which is your minimum, because you rolled a two. Um, now, yeah, do you want to try and add anything to that? I, I, I've got nothing to add. I, I am, however, up. Yes, that's true. Go ahead. Uh, uh, yeah, go ahead and do your up. So that gives you a defense of plus five, which is pretty good. Okay, just remember you've got that defense of plus five. You could probably, if you really wanted to this round, type that into your character sheet on the modifier lines that are there, or you can just remember you've got a plus five. Got a plus five. That's easier for me to remember. Probably, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to need it. Okay, so that's Peaches and Moe. Um, Dogfight and Chris... Now, Chris, you're more or less being carried by Dogfight. So Dogfight would have had an opportunity to get off one shot at James, but then he would have had to stabilize you be, uh, before you fell out. You still okay. have to... Dogfight still has to carry you um, and cannot do so in a single arm. Yeah, I won't be shooting anymore. So what well, do you I want could, to do? Well, I could always assist with my telekinesis on ca on the carrying me front, but is does it seem like James is going to be coming after us? Um, in, you know, in the air. James was kind of taken aback by dogfight picking you up in the first place, but and me jumping off nearly f like fifty meters. Like yes, one exactly. Of his jumps exactly. So um, James is kind of sitting there uh, wondering what he should do. And then, yeah, he decides he's probably going to charge at you, but he won't be able to close any distance. Uh, and you guys are still up in the air. So dogfight will be your defense um, and could roll <laughs> an active defense, actually, if, if uh, Robert wants to. Um, um, well, I do want to ask, did, did I, I don't think we, uh, I think we forgot to resolve it last round, but did, did I actually hit him with no. that? Uh... No, you missed. Okay. And, and we did All resolve right. it. You're the one who said you missed. So, oh, did I? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, all right. Okay. okay. Anyway, I'm... So I'm going to use pyrokinesis, you know, lob a thing of fire, mm -hmm. just more of an intimidation kind of thing, I'd say, to make make him so he doesn't want to jump. Okay, what's the range on your pyrokinesis? I know it's 25 meters, and I know that's, like, not enough distance. Well... But, you know, the fact that I'm spewing fire, I would believe... I would be know. enough of a deterrent. Well, that's, you know, that's eight meters or 24 feet, 25 feet away from uh, from where James would be. OK, so if, if you've got a range of 25 meters on that, that means yep. that means you can go about yay far. <laughs> Okay, and, and that's each... not even accounting for elevation. Right, that's not even accounting for elevation. So you're probably double that. Um, yeah, there, there's no way he. You can put fire out there all you want, but it's not going to hurt him. 
Okay. Uh, would using telekinesis help dogfight get a, get us out faster? Uh, not unless you discuss it with him. <laughs> <laughs> I could just imagine dogfight is sitting there all confident in his flight power, and he's going to get you out of there really quick, and the next thing he knows, he's going in a direction he doesn't want to go. <laughs> I, 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 it could possibly startle me so much that I could drop you. Yes, <laughs> from about 25 meters, which would hurt. <laughs> Well, using telekinesis on like myself to make myself lighter is what I'm asking. Oh no, no, you're not going to be able to do that um, because using telekinesis. Okay, it's like wrapping yourself in a warp bubble. Okay, from Star Trek. Um, uh, what it's going to do is it's going to disrupt dogfight's ability to hold on to you, so it would actually act like grease. Okay. And once again, splat. Hmm. Well, well, no, again, if he was if using, using this nesis on myself, I can kind of keep myself in the air. Yeah, but... he in that particular instance, he would not go splat. But uh, um, but if you if Robert if dogfight were to drop Chris, and we would have to see if you had the presence of mind to cast or to invoke telekinesis to be able to use it to slow yourself from getting splat. You're not going to splat. I'm not dropping you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he says that's yet. what they all say. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Chris, what do you want to do? Uh, can't really do much of anything. You know, sure, you this can. High. sure, you like can. Sure, you can. You've got a an M. Well, your M4 is probably on your back, huh? Yes. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. It's like I don't have that out. Okay. Uh, that's, then nope. That's too far. Nope. 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 In that case, dogfight. What would you like to do? Um, I would like to fly away. Okay. <laughs> so um, in this in this direction, so that that. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Why am I pointing at the screen? That's just That's really just dumb. That's not going to help you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's not going to help you. <laughs> yeah, just click on the ruler and type, you know. I, I know. So which way? Going this, this way? way over the top of, of uh, Peaches Thanks. and Mo, so they know I'm going. Okay. So go ahead and find your 80 meters. And uh, and you can determine how far you can get. It's going to be somewhere in here, eighty nine, eighty point six. So probably right in here. Yeah, so I want to keep uh, I want to keep going up, even though he's probably not very happy with that fact. But yes. Okay, so that's about it. Chris, you have to remain within dogfight's custody. So I you need to I know, but I'm gonna move up by so one. Can't. Ha that, but that one wouldn't mean we'll be in the same token space. Well, you know, but dogfight can be right behind you. Okay, I'm going to move you up one because his space is right here. So dogfight, go ahead and move your token. And you see James whip around, and he gets to jump really high, but not high enough. So he, he claws at you, and you hear him growl loudly, but then he lands on the ground, and uh, and, and I'm not going to have him roll anything. He doesn't really need to. So let's see. So you guys are good with the maneuvering thing. Uh, that means all four of you are done, right? Uh, uh, except for me saying, hey, Rocket, can you get moving? <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, right now, he's apparently being mauled by a werewolf. Yeah, he's... he's up. Get up there. <laughs> from, from your height, you probably can't tell that he's drooling. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so there's that. And then, let's see. Let me measure this. I want to make sure. I don't think these guys are going to catch up to you at all. But let's see, I'll put him on the crossroads right there. Get back here. Oh, 
Let me oh my move. gosh, this place is just infested with werewolves. Yeah, something like that. So that villain, 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 villain. Um, and then Francis and Paul get to act. So Francis and Paul. Make sure that I've got them there. All right, uh, let me see something real quick. Okay, no, we're doing good. We're doing real good on time. All right, so Bite and Claws coming at um, Mo. Okay. Oh, and I didn't didn't change him. His roll was 18 this time. God. Yeah, I know, right? Come on, 18. There you go. Okay. Um, so let's see. Uh, 18, a result of 18 to hit versus Moe's what? I think you said a 12? Nine for a... Um... Nine. Oh, so this is double. That's okay, because he still only gets one bonus die of damage. You know what? No. No. Huh? Opponent no. fails? Opponent fails. Okay. Well, let me stop that. And close Paul and delete Yay. that. So, okay, so um, Mo gets missed, but what about Peaches? Okay, come on, come on. It's still slow, but it's not as slow as it was last week. And he misses like a big dog. Whoa, whoa. Uh, not only that, he disconnects. Okay. Yes! Now, it's about it's time somebody else did. <laughs> Okay, disconnection. Wolf. <laughs> uh, you know, I wonder what would happen. Oh, when he disconnects, he stops being a werewolf. So this guy falls to the ground and is stymied and vulnerable at the same time as he's disconnected because he's from a Rorsch. And reverting to human. Yes. Now let me let me look at the okay. Arosh. Let's see. Uh, spiritual is sixteen versus core earth's ten. Um, and that should that should be all that they need. So that yeah, they disconnect, or he disconnects. All right. So, uh, let me open up his character sheet again, Penny, before you, or Peaches, before you get too, uh, too far ahead. <laughs> okay, Francis. One, two. Come on, give me that four. There you go. One, two. Okay, so all kinds of defenses and stuff are cut now. All right, so that's him and Paul failed. So, does anybody have a card to keep the uh, the current initiative card on top, or are we going to a new one? Well, I think we're out of I think we're out of save me's. Well, uh, no, actually, Robert has a seize initiative, so we're going for another round. Okay, heroes are up. All right. All right, let's try my reconnect. <laughs> yeah, you try your reconnect, and I'll try the same thing with Francis, uh, who is disconnected and does not cannot use any kind of... Okay, so reality. No bonuses. Uh -oh. No modifiers. Really? Well, so he's got an up, so... Let's get going. Okay. Let's try it. <laughs> All right. Uh so let's see, Captain Mo. Oof. At least it's a roll of two, so you can still. Uh, let me see. Okay, two showed up. So go ahead uh, if you want to. Uh oh, what happened here? Okay, try and click on your token again and and hit the up button again. Something happened. It went to some kind of code or something. That's oh, strange. for heaven's sake. Just roll a d20. <laughs> I think it's my fault. I think I, I uh, did that too early. So the roll was a 1. Now it's that's a total of 14. 14. 
Okay. It should at least be a zero or a plus one. I think a 14 is a plus two, actually. No, plus one. You're right. Okay. So um, that means your reality plus one is what? 16. 16. Okay. You reconnect. So we can take that off of there. Okay. Now, let me go back and deal with Paul real quick. Or Francis, I mean. Uh, and he rolled a one. Again, so, oh, 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 wait a minute. Does that uh, mean we reality storm him? No, you don't reality storm him. Uh, no, so, he just converted. <laughs> I think so. 180. Yeah. He Eight became four. poor Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Transformation of non-living things happens very rapidly. What about living things? Okay, storm nights and stormers. Uh, some storm knights and stormers become denizens of the invading reality, while others transcend but maintain their original cause. And the risk of transformation occurs again uh, each time the hero must reconnect. A mishap then means she either loses a reality ad fighting it off, or she transforms. Okay, so I can take a reality ad off of Francis. Oh my. But reality has to be one. Yeah, his reality is one, so he's gonna he, he he goes to zero, but that means that he can no longer he becomes an ord at that point. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so peaches, there is now a mostly naked man lying on the ground in front of you. I'm not gonna shoot him when he's naked on the ground. But I will shoot the one that, that's actively trying to kill us. Well, okay, so go ahead and and hit Paul. You 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 know it is easier to hit them when they're like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. When yeah. they're when they're prone yeah. and they're human and have lost everything. Yeah. But really, it's just you know. The crying and the blood. <laughs> well, would he have become a ord if he transformed it to Korth anyway? Well, here's the thing: he is still or, a Rorsch, but he is now an Rorsch ord. Whoa, 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 whoa! What, what's going on here? Oh, you rolled your up. Ooh. Okay. So your total result there is a 23, which is 11 better than Paul's defense. So that gives you two bonus dice. So go ahead and roll your damage for the Remington. Remember, the toughness is 17 on that guy. Two bonus dice. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's, uh, let's see, his toughness was 17, your base damage was 14, the effect was a 4. So yeah, he only takes 2 shock. So, let me pop Paul open here, so that brings him up to 8. Oh, okay, 8, enter, not 8, tab, you knuckle-headed monkey. Um, hang on just a second, let me make sure that Paul... Uh, let's see. Okay, so he's still got some points of shock to go yet. So I'm going to mark um, Francis as incapacitated. Okay, where did I put the incapacitated? We're just going to give him a red dot. Okay, for incapacitated. And Paul is still there. Um, so... Peaches, that was you, and you didn't get much on him, but uh, you feel like he's getting a little bit closer to out of sorts. Mo is still disconnected. Um, James, let's see, James Gill and Gerald have already moved. So now didn't that's he, the, he had one wound, right? It took advantage. It, it, you are you talking about Francis? Yeah. And Paul, Paul too. I, I, I shot them both last. Yes, um, but not this round. So he, uh, Francis, already has his damage from last round, 
and then Paul uh, just took damage. Wait a minute. How did you shoot him again? I, I, I shot both of them last. I yeah, did that... multi action last time. So, so how did you get damage on on Paul now? I shot him. Yeah, this but, time, but I... it wasn't the new turn yet. I didn't? No. I haven't, I haven't even haven't got, got a card out there yet. So let's see. I thought no. I thought he played. I thought we were in the new round. Everybody was doing their disconnects and their runnings and hold on. Jumping and flyings and Mo failed to disconnect again. Hold on. And it was their turn. So then it was our turn, right? Uh, that's still not Maybe. sounding right to me. But let me open the discard here and take a look at what. Uh, oh, wrong. <sighs> Would you please let me look at the discard? Ah. Oh. Okay, so let's see. That was the up. And then discard here. Willpower. Yep, Seize Initiative was the last card. Something we doesn't seem right room. here. You told me Francis was out. So I shot at Paul. Okay, so wait a minute. Mo did his his reconnect and connect and reconnected. Francis tried to do his reconnect and did not reconnect. Peach's mm -hmm. turn was just there, and she got Paul for two. Okay, sometimes it's difficult to track all this stuff. Right. Now uh, we need Chris and Dogfight and James, Gill, and Gerald need to go. Well, now, wait a minute. Uh, Mo reconnected. That means he still gets to act. Oh, that's right. Never mind. I'm yeah. sorry. All right. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to try to fly out of here again. <laughs> okay. Give me a flight test. Minus two. Okay. About bloody stinking time. Absolutely. <laughs> Clear that salt water. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They always said that maintenance was important. <laughs> yes, maintenance is important. Okay, so Mo, you are able to grab Peaches and boost right into the air. And there's Dogfight and Chris pretty much with you guys. So, Smoke, smoking is, the, 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 the unit smoking horrendously as, a, it, as I get up there. There you go. Somewhere. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm shouting at them in a mix of English and Spanish. How uh, a bad dog, you know, my grandmother with a rolled up newspaper could hit harder than you. <laughs> so, okay. Um, so, um, <laughs> all of them are growling and barking and everything like that as they approach where you were. Um, where do you guys intend to go? Police station. <laughs> Anywhere else. <laughs> Just All right. away. All right. Away, so away, 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 away. You boost off to to the police station. It takes you about five minutes to get there, all told. Uh you know, even with your 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 RAM boost and all that other stuff that you've got that you can use. Um and you land out in front, but bear in mind, it's really late at night. The police station is all but dark. Okay, there's only a couple of lights on in there, and you can kind of hear, uh, you can hear some of the cops and almost all of the prisoners talking. Uh, yeah, um... We we will uh, are we, we, we will head on the way. I, I I yell at you. Why are we going to the police station? Do you have another place for us to go? How about the hotel? Um, get ourselves back together. I mean, you know, well, I don't yeah, know if you were in the fight I was in, but we just got our asses handed to us. Well, yeah. we had, but we had cops with us. Uh, uh, that's right. You don't know about that. Um, yeah, the cops came through with us, mm -hmm. although they, I th think they were further back than we were. 
and they're going to need some help if those werewolves decide to turn on them. <laughs> no, they left, remember? Yeah, they left. Well, yeah, the, the cops okay. that were with well, you went back to the station after um, they received agreement that the 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 German werewolves would uh, uh, come and talk to them in the morning. Yeah, so, and I kind of wanted the cops to see our shredded clothes and the brown hairs <laughs> we have all over us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and I want to report an assault. <laughs> 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 well maybe not me I probably shouldn't report an assault since I was the assaulter but <laughs> one of you guys ought to probably report an assault yeah I could report an assault <laughs> I did nothing and then James, so James came over and started slashing at me <laughs> okay so um gonna see about moving you guys back uh, towards the the police station. That map ought to do. Okay, so here's kind of where you're at. Um, you've got, of, of course, the police station, I believe, was up here. Are, are you guys back on the city map? Yes. Okay. So that's uh, that's kind of where you were. Uh, you've got uh, the police station was somewhere around here towards the top. So it, it, it only takes you about five minutes to really get back there. Um, uh, if you want to rush inside, you can. Um, but the cops that are inside are probably not going to know what to do. That's okay. I would still rather have some thick walls and and some ch a chance and people with guns to give us a chance to figure this out. Because, mm -hmm. like I said, we just got our asses handed to us. So yeah, in a big, big way. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to report the assault. Mind, mind you, we did not go um, inside any building. This happened on the street when they accosted us. Uh huh. <laughs> Uh huh. So you you go and explain that to them, and they they call the lieutenant. It takes about a half an hour for him to arrive, um, and he looks at at your shredded clothes and everything like that. And of course, there's he he uh, pulls out an old style uh, thirty millimeter camera, and and starts snapping pictures of you all uh, in your torn up clothing and everything like that. So. I ain't got no torn up clothing. <laughs> um, hey, you did land in a tree. What are you talking about? <laughs> what? Uh, you you landed in a tree. Was it was it a tree or a bush? Shrubbery. I thought I landed. I thought I landed Shrubbery. on the street, but that's okay. No. Anyway, it doesn't uh, matter. Uh, uh. <laughs> My stuff still ain't torn up. Okay. So I got a rep to protect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we gonna destroy that rep? We gonna? <laughs> okay, so um, you get everything explained to the lieutenant, and he's like, "There's, there, we can call in, uh, we can call in our our military, and and we can go down there and arrest these guys, but they wouldn't be able to be here until late tomorrow afternoon." Well, you can arrest them when they come in the morning. You better hope that they they decide to leave instead of actually come here in the morning. Although I'm sure they're going to sound nice and reasonable. Um, but then, you know, shove them out in the moonlight. It's a different story. <laughs> um. By the way, do we get our? Do we get? A, are we out of rounds? Do we get our cards put back in hand? Yeah, and go stuff ahead. Like that? Go ahead and put your cards back in hand. Actually, uh, I'm going to end this scene and begin another one. It's kind of impromptu. So here's what we're going to do. Um, those of you who have five cards, you're good where you are for the moment. Um, those of you who have less than five cards, let's see. So Ginger needs four. Hang on, just a minute. Open and 
ginger. Yes, and, I, and I'm pointing out these oh, claw see. marks and scratches Fresh. in my shirt, and I'm saying Small. these have got to match your killers. Oh yeah! Oh oh yeah! He goes crazy. He he starts bagging everything. So deal to yeah, one him. card. Uh, Captain Gonzalez. Okay, deal. And then to dogfight three. Deal. Three. Dogfight. Uh, I'm 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 looking at Penny and going. So Penny, we werewolves now. <laughs> <laughs> No, as you can see, uh, it's all their blood. Not really. <laughs> okay, uh, now it's listen. Not all their blood. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> hey, y'all! It's the end of the scene. So take a look at your cards, and if there's one card you want to get rid of and trade out for something, we'll do that. I don't need two second wins. Okay, so go ahead and lay your one of them. There we go, and let me see. Let me get rid of that, and then so that's two, one, Chris, and deal cards. Okay, but that the card that you've got, you now have to keep. Okay, anybody else want to get rid of a card? No, no, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with what I got. I, I can get rid of this close call. I don't. I'm not a sneaky type, so. Okay, go ahead and and put it out not on the really. board, and I'll get rid of it. Okay, and then deal one dark bite. Oh, deal. If I can click on that button. Okay, so and you're you're stuck with that card. Okay, so the next scene comes up, uh, and you hear. Uh, fire engines. And they're not the newest type of fire engine on the planet. Um, they actually turn past the uh, police station and seem to be going in the direction uh, that you just came from. They're burning the house down. Covering their exit. All evidence and leaving. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's what I would have done if, if I were them. Wow, some firefighter you are. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I would have just done it right the first time. <laughs> um, I want to go back to the hotel and get on some real clothes. I've donated all of mine to science. Or at least the forensics lab has need... all my... I, I'm wearing Okay, my... we... we... Oh. I'm wearing property of, of police station like t shirt and sweats. No, they clothes. don't they don't have those kind of resources. <laughs> You're wearing your clothes. Wait, wait. Oh, but I thought it I thought he wanted them for evidence. Certain parts of the clothing, yeah. Not gonna make yeah, you so walk out in... naked, but No, they would have they, they actually do have you know uh, you, you're wearing a, you're wearing an inmate's uniform. Yeah. yeah, yeah that's what I was figured. Yeah, <laughs> some kind of jumpsuit of some type. They say or, they or don't have enough. <laughs> they just give you a blanket. Yeah, there you or go. Blanket, They've got yeah. enough blankets. So you're walking yeah, naked blanket. back to the hotel. <laughs> well, that's my skinny. I'm sure they didn't want my underwear. Oh yeah. Like, we don't walk anywhere. We can fly. But the the we we need we need to figure out what the heck is going on with this. Uh, how can we fight werewolves? Because those guys. Uh-uh. <laughs> Ninety-two forty-seven. We need some help. Three. Yeah. So let's see. Ninety-two forty-seven point three divided by five two eight zero. So it's one point seven, almost one point eight miles to get back to your hotel. Um, the, so the lieutenant is like, okay, if you want to go back to your hotel, I'll, I'll give you a ride. Is that for everybody or just peaches? Uh, peaches, uh, 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 Chris, ride with her. Uh, me, me and, uh, me and biplane don't have to. Okay. <laughs> but are you going back to the hotel? Oh yeah, I am. Okay. 
Now, are, okay, you're not going to go to the fire department and see if you can't uh, collect some evidence? Do, do, do I look like a detective? <laughs> Fair <laughs> point. <laughs> Okay, if you uh, have the any, do their police stuff. If you have any shock, go ahead and, and remove your shock. I forgot about that at the beginning of the scene. Okay. But wounds are a different All thing right. altogether, Mo. Yeah, I I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the hotel and miracle myself back to health. Okay. So I hope. Okay, so while you are traveling, whether by air or by car to the hotel, you notice that there are some very high flames in one of the jungle areas out in, out in this direction. Okay? And were that's they, right about they, where you just were. With an yeah. overly tied, tired sigh... I, I gesture that way to 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 to, uh, to the buy man. <laughs> to the buy man. And, uh, How, <laughs> that ain't right. <laughs> uh, yeah, an alter course to do a flyover. Okay. Okay. Sure. All right. So uh, you two are going to go to high get... flyover. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. As you're approaching in that area, you see <clears throat> that it's not actually the house um, that you were just at, that the that the German werewolves came from, um, but you see uh, some a piece of jungle a little bit off of the end of the road that you were fighting on. In fact... Um, dogfight, you would recognize the street light that um, the werewolf was under uh, and was getting re <clears throat> ready to take a street up. So the, the fire is by the street lamp up the street? No. No, it's further up the street um, where... Gerald, the werewolf, you wouldn't know his name, of course, but where he was going to when you first shot at him. Okay. Wow. Uh, it's not daytime yet. Oh, not, no, it's midnight. I, yeah, no, I, uh, that there's, I mean, <laughs> I, uh, it noted and then returned to the hotel. <laughs> Okay. Um. All right. We, so we 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 need we need to do some planning here. You're not, not going to investigate even the flyby. <laughs> we well, that's what they by. did. Was a flyby? Yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah. Yeah, it was supposed to be a flyby. That was so. our flyby. We are. <laughs> we're, we're not. We're not going any closer to there until till daybreak. Okay. So you get together at the hotel. Um, somewhere to make a plan, right? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> uh, um, See what we can do here. We, 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 maybe we can contact Quinn, uh, and get some help with this. I don't, I don't know what to do about werewolves, but this is, this is, this is scary. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I I, I, I I drop my armor on the floor and like rotate like my really sore shoulder. I don't know, they weren't that tough. <laughs> yeah, says so the guy who couldn't get off the ground. <laughs> uh, watch your sass there, boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Watch your own. This coming from <laughs> <laughs> Watch your sass, boy. <laughs> That's so fun. <laughs> What's next? Um, taking a taking aim at a uh, nearby spittoon. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, 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 I smoke cigars. I don't like you. Know. Oh, okay. 
which I'll be doing just as soon as I've miracled myself better. All right, go ahead and make a roll on that miracle. All right, guys, give me just a second. Anybody else hurt? No, no, we're good. I'm good anyway. I'm good. All right. Dang, never. Come on, let me click on my token. Boom. All right, there we go. Faith, submit. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, yeah. uh, that'll at least take care of the uh, one wound. So let's see. Uh, yeah, let me pop open Captain Mo. I'm still getting used to all this stuff. Yeah. So, oh, there and there and character sheet. Okay, so healing. Mm, pardon me, goodness. Okay, yeah. so let's see his faith. Uh, we got to get your minimums in here, man. Uh, Aren't they in there? Uh-uh. Skill, faith, it has it has a minimum to it for healing. So, it. I mean, this doesn't all have to be done right now, but eventually we're going to have to... Um, we're going to have to deal with it. Isn't that 10? Oh, oh, excuse me. Skill, faith. Yeah. So you've got a, 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 okay, miracles. Healing. That's hellfire. Okay. Yeah, faith 10. So the the zero that's to the right of faith would actually become a 10. That's the minimum yeah. necessary. So, and of course, that's a standard. Yeah, I thought that was target standard 10. So. Yeah, you, you've also got a target standard of 10, so if you failed either of those, you'd fail both. There are some miracles and some powers and stuff like that which are actually less than what the target number is, and there are some that are more. Not mu not by much, but... So, let's see. You rolled a total of how much? 17? Okay. 17. So, yeah, you, you, you're all healed up. You're, you're good to go. Okay, so... Now, plan away. Um, I would like to get in touch with Quinn Sebastian. Seriously. Okay. <laughs> um, um, like, do I have his number or something like that? Or... <laughs> uh, you've got a number to the Delphi Council. Uh, you, you've got a couple of cards. Made... Actually, you wouldn't have any cards because you came straight from the Nile Empire. But I think Penny and Chris might have a card or two among them. I, I've made contact with the Delphi Council. I just haven't, yep. you know, worked yep. with them a lot. So, yeah. So, anyway, you, you do. You have the ability to uh, kind of call them up on the phone. And do you request Quinn Sebastian specifically? Uh, he's the only one I know. <laughs> uh -huh. well, uh, yeah. I could, we didn't tell you about our adventure with Mimo, did we? I don't. No. I don't think uh, you did. Yeah, we really haven't had the opportunity, have we? No, we're we're yeah. Everything's been kind of up in the air. What are y'all doing? What are you What are you planning? Who Who do we get a hold of at the Delphi Council? Um, I need, we need to speak to somebody, anybody. I don't because I don't. I I I know we need some help. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> We, yeah, we are the help. They're not going to send anyone. We already I, I compose, know this. I compose a, a briefing on my nifty tablet here. Uh huh. And send it, or okay, yeah, send it to uh, yeah, and send it to to um. We 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 were on the ship. We used the email and stuff like that with the navy. So I am assuming we have a, an email contact. We yeah. had to, have to 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 fill in all our exploits about uh, Mimo. Yeah, actually, it would it would kind of be easier to do that because you're put on hold for like uh, the computer tells you you'll be on hold for thirty three minutes. Okay. Yeah. And I just I just do the synopsis and send it via email. Your call is important to us. Please remain on the line. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So, um, okay. Uh, so, you do manage to get somebody on the line, and they're like, "I'm, I'm, I'm reading the report from Gonzalez now." And okay. He says, yeah, "I don't have anything else to help you with werewolves." 
And unfortunately, uh, Quinn Sebastian is out with new recruits right now. You you can't even give it. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm? No, I'm, I mean, we yeah. we uh, we 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 need to we need. <laughs> We need info I, on what works, and this is not a job for for newbies. Um, you know, you know the, la the last time I was here, I do remember we called and asked them for this very information, and they had nothing. Right? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yep. Okay, I'm uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go out of character for a second here because I'm okay. um, I'm I'm um, my character has got an intelligence of six. He really doesn't have any good ideas right <laughs> but uh the if we're gonna fight werewolves again we need to be equipped for fighting werewolves and i don't know how to do that in in this? the game world what's all this junk i left in the hotel i don't think a water torpedo is gonna work but what about <laughs> well, a sunblade um a sunblade is probably not going to help you in this instance it works um, against supernatural creatures, doesn't it? Okay. The, Undead. The guy on the phone says, wait a minute. I'm going to put you on hold. I'm, I am I might have somebody that can help you. I will. Your report has already been forwarded to her, and uh, I will put her on the phone in, in, in just a minute. If I said a him, I'm sorry. It was supposed to be a her. So you hear the, you hear the elevator music come up for just a second. <laughs> And then you get a her on the line. Uh, this is Sandy. What can I do for you? Can you talk tell us how to fight about, werewolves? <laughs> yeah, talk to me about werewolves. Well, um, I, you know, I've I've read your report, and you are not equipped to fight werewolves. So we're, what we're going to do is this: we're going to take a uh, an approach of stopping the chase before it becomes deadly. So I want you on an airplane home tomorrow morning. And the council will uh, take care of your flight. Wait, huh. what? You, hey, look, I'll take it. Like I said, <laughs> we're stopping the, the, the chase before it becomes deadly. This is what we need to do. These werewolves are, we will have others come and track them, and then we'll put, a, put together a team to deal with them. But the likelihood is, after your, after your uh, escapades with them, they are simply going to disappear. Unfortunately, I think you're right. Um, when's the Sunos flight out of here? And where will it go? Tickets, From where to here? Tickets will be at your room sometime tonight or early tomorrow morning. Yeah, we, at least we made it uncomfortable for them to murder innocent people here. Um, yes. And like I said, we're going to send out some specialists, a tracker, uh, and, and see what's going on. That works for me. <laughs> okay, so you get to the uh, the airport near Silicap, uh, and you start your flight home. Um, unfortunately, the aircraft is uh, struck by something you can't tell what it is several times, and it it starts to go down, and you end up crossing a, a boundary. Um, that makes you feel like certain things are going to be all right, but you're not sure how. Now, when the aircraft actually hits the ground, everybody survives. The, the, uh, um, the pilot and co-pilot are actually very competent, and the aircraft lands uh, uh, on some kind of a plane somewhere, um, with some golden wheat uh, around it, and now it's on fire, unfortunately. But everybody manages to get out of the airplane 
Unfortunately, as several of them get get out of the airplane, their clothing changes to what appears to be medieval in origin. Okay, uh, sackcloth, <laughs> sackcloth, and um, uh, hoods, cowls, if you will, and a couple of them even find swords in their hands. Um, and they barely look at them before they sheathe them. And they start looking around um, at everybody around the crash site. So, so we crashed in England, is what you're saying? You, no. Uh, actually, um, is Blair there? Uh, he just ran upstairs. I have no idea. <laughs> um, we could be in Wales or Cardiff or Ireland or... The Spanish main. I have well, no idea. But the general idea is, and each of you gets a feeling about this, you are no longer in a modern technology area. Oh, no. Oh, to joy. <laughs> my phone, my, my tablet. <laughs> my shotgun. <laughs> Oh no, no! Oh, my you're axe, my, this, axe, my axe ought to work just fine. The stuff that you still have works. You have not disconnected, but my you just phone. know that you're not anywhere near um, a high tech on technology area anymore. We're not in Kansas anymore. You're not in Kansas anymore. That's good. I never wanted to be in Kansas in the first place. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, you were on the plane for about nine hours, nine and a half hours. Um, uh, Mo, mm -hmm. you were kind of shunned where you were. It was very difficult for you to make conversation with anybody. Uh, as a matter of fact, <laughs> if they had seats of any kind, they kind of abandoned them for other seats, even if those other seats were kind of in a packed in area. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing my luck, I was probably forced to sit next to you, Mo. Uh, actually, that wouldn't be a bad assessment. That way, uh, you all seemed very comfortable together. Um, and Adinos couldn't even sit in an airplane seat, could he? <laughs> um, not very comfortably. I also noticed that people would avoid, were avoiding him. Yes. Yes, people would be avoiding him. Um, they, it, it, nobody you let's put it this way. Nobody used the rear lavatory. <laughs> except maybe a stewardess. And they had to fight with you to move your tail so that, uh, so that they could get the, the cart. <laughs> I've, I've got, I've got the little dividers up between the seats and like my legs all kicked up mm -hmm. you know, try, trying to get my tail out of the way and it's like, so let me tell let me tell you, Chris, there was this time uh, back in old Chi Town when I, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I discreetly, you know, put headphones in. <laughs> it's like he doesn't even notice. <laughs> well, actually, um, before the airplane gets hit, um, like I said, you're about nine or ten hours into your flight. Um, and Is that a Jim dragon. <laughs> yeah, that that's not a bad way to think of it. Um, but Ginger. Uh, receive something of an update that is being passed on from the lieutenant um, that there was a very odd tree in the forested area where um, uh, where that was burning. A tree? Yes, a very odd tree. It was a, a nightmarish sort of tree it had uh, black sap oozing down uh, in several places all of the branches were hang dog and uh, um, uh, they were growing things but everything was had kind of a black hue to it or an ashen hue and then where um, where the firefighters were not able to save the tree um, the lieutenant went back during the daytime and found that there was a massive hole that went deep underground there. 
Uh, now I want to turn around and go back. <laughs> uh, you, I think they should be very lucky that they didn't save the tree. I think it and the whole ground should be salted and destroyed and blessed. Yep. There you go. Um, is Do you actually send uh, that information by, uh, by the Delphi Council to the lieutenant? Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I asked the, uh, you know, via via the Delphi Council to ask if that's actually a good idea. Okay. All right. Over the Eucharist, holy water, salt, salt the earth. Yeah. Leave nothing alive there. <laughs> so, okay. So, uh, before you can hear any kind of response back, the plane is hit and it starts right. losing altitude. Um, the engines come on and switch off intermittently. Okay, um, and then it, they continue, the airplane just continues to drop, and um, before there's any kind of a hit, you actually hear the landing gear drop, okay, um, and then the uh, the airplane, when it hits, is cushioned somewhat, but the landing gear are torn from beneath it, and it eventually does land uh, belly down on the ground. To make sure okay. everybody make sure everybody gets off the plane okay first of all uh, okay. i just imagine like mo's like as we're crashing is still talking about whatever sort of you know story that i've been drowning out <laughs> and me and him are just like sitting there like it's completely normal what's happening <laughs> hey. yeah you know i mean she was she was an all right kind of girl hey is that a dragon <laughs> just hit her engine <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's probably bad. Yep. Yeah. Draconis hey. Teutonica. Ugh. Why are we anywhere near dragons? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. The face palm. Really? Really? Did we really just hit a dragon? <laughs> okay, so I'm I'm gonna go ahead and uh and, and put an end to the adventure. So since it was not even really a full act, I'm going to give you each five experience points. Um, so go ahead and add that and go ahead and, and get your cards out. Uh, make sure that you keep a hold of your pool, hand pool separator cards. But uh, go ahead and, and put the rest of your cards out onto the table and I'll collect them. Um, uh, what am I saying here? Um, I was really hoping you get to play that nemesis before I got. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, get rid of all our cards. Yep, go ahead and get rid of all your cards. You're you're in a different. Uh, you're you're done with that adventure for now. There may or may not be a part two. Well, I have to say, I probably will make sure there's a part two because I don't see dogfight running away from a fight. No, I don't know. I saw you running away from a fight pretty hard. <laughs> oh. that, that was a that was a tactical retreat, sir. <laughs> Bite your tongue. Uh, I mean, that was Chris level. I mean, that was... <laughs> be nice, Andrew. Be nice. <laughs> So, <laughs> uh, at least I remembered how to fly. <laughs> oh, oh, the snap! <laughs> All right, I'll take care Can of these cards. Can here while they duke it out? Come on, really? <laughs> okay, planes on fire, and we're yelling at each other. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so all of you got your cards out. No problem. All right. A thought just occurred to me as you said, you know, dogfight and Mo were fighting. It's like Mo is the call all over again. <laughs> <He is. laughs> and I bet I'm in the middle as, again as well. No, 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 no. no I, actually, I, actually, I kind of like dogfight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did I... I gave you guys five experience. We've taken care of your cards. We ended yep. the adventure. So, I have spent experience you have spent yeah um I, before we close up i, I mean yeah. I'm, I'm still i guess i'm a little confused so are we 
going to be having a new GM? Are we doing a new adventure? Right. A different um, adventure? Uh, Blair has been a long time uh, Torg GM and he is is wanting to run something to help me out to get prepared for my next adventure. Okay? Okay. Because it's kind of a big one. Uh, I've got to get quite a few maps together and putting bad guys and stuff. Plus, I'm still going to be learning the Foundry uh, and trying to get us up on there eventually. Okay. So are we are we building are we building new characters? Or are we using our existing ones? Uh, Blair says that, that Blair we... says that you can use your existing characters. And, okay. And that's okay with me. I guess he's a guest uh, DM for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that, right, that doesn't bother good. me at all. Plus, that gives me an opportunity to role play with you guys over one or two weekends. So, yeah. and you're going to work. Okay. Uh, you're you're going to want to to make sure your character has an FXP. Uh, Blair did say that that put it right in the middle and give yourselves a hundred XP to play with to build your character. So then, for dogfight, since you have the least amount of XP at ninety now. Um, I have these written down somewhere, but I can't find them right off the bat. So if if you guys are below 100 XP, um, go ahead and increase to 100 XP. You know, and and, okay. and get your stuff done. If you need to contact me to help you out with any of that, don't hesitate. Uh, contact me by email. Uh, we can either arrange a time to get up on Roll20 and talk. Uh, or we can just do it through email, and that's fine. And uh, uh, I will, I guess I'll see you all next weekend. I see you. All, right, all right, my friends, have a great night. We all lived. We lived. Yeah. <laughs> Barely. That, that, that was lucky. <laughs> that was lucky. Mm-hmm. <laughs> our, our attempted retreat was almost flummoxed. I mean, it's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, that almost got ugly. Yeah, it was a very inglorious retreat. All right. Good night, guys. Uh, all right. Good night. Good night. All right. So to all of our fans who are watching this video at the end of a very torrid and unusual adventure, good night to you all.